It's the summer of crime with two massive gangster movies going head to head. Michael Mann's Public Enemies, based on the life and crimes of John Dillinger, and from the other side of the pond, the notorious Jacques Merine, in a French epic so mammoth it comes in two parts. Film 24 takes a look at both. Pistols at dawn, gentlemen. You act like a confident man. Johnny Depp takes the leading role as John Dillinger, the legendary American bank robber. Quite fitting as both are charismatic but enigmatic figures. I don't know anything about you. I like baseball, movies, good clothes, fast cars, whiskey, and you. Dillinger made an art of manipulating the media and was very conscious of his public image. Johnny Depp is the biggest movie star in the world right now. And John Dillinger was arguably the biggest movie star of his time. On some level, there was a sort of a Robin Hood uh, in, in John Dillinger. In contrast to Dillinger's charm, Monsieur Merin was far more egotistical and rough around the edges, labelled as the French Scarface. He left behind him the image of being a Robin Hood. But he wasn't, because he never gave anything back to the poor. Mouth Francais. Merin also utilized the 70s media to his advantage. He became like a rock star in France. In 79, the year he died, he was the favorite celebrity of the French people. After serving an eight and a half year sentence from the age of 19, Dillinger was ready to live life to the full. He was sent to prison for 10 years. He was a kid. It was like going in when the world was black and white and coming out when it was vivid. An intoxication with life that he had been denied in prison and he was going to have everything. He's going to have everything right now. We're too good for him. They ain't tough enough, smart enough, or fast enough. I hit any bank I want any time. They got to be at every bank, all the time. Very much a romantic idealist, he used crime as a means to an end. <laughs> Merin shared Dillinger's desire for a life of excess, but adopted a far cruder approach. <laughs> It's the story of a young man who's trying to understand what he's made of. He's a bad guy. He's a showman. Huge ego. He loved women, but not as much as himself. I think he really tried to find a lot of excuses for his actions. He had the, the courage to live up to the persona he created. En attendant, si tu veux vraiment t'adresser à moi comme un ami, comme tu dis, ben, déjà tu m'appelles Jacques. Comme tu voudras, Jacques. Both films share a respectable cast list. Public Enemy stars the likes of Christian Bale as FBI agent Purvis and Marion Cotillard as love interest Billy. Vincent Cassel makes a captivating Merine, with Gérard Depardieu co-starring as the Parisian godfather type ganglord. Every week had a new incredible actor coming on the set. You have Gérard Depardieu. Je t'ai posé une question, Polo. <laughs> Et moi, je te parle le vieux, tu m'en bon Oui, quoi C'est moi qui t'appelle un chien sans collier Pourquoi ta boîte, toi With a running time of 139 minutes, Public Enemies is a lot of bang for your buck. Perhaps too much, as it is missing the crucial fear factor. Killer Instinct documents Merine's life in the 60s. It is sharp and gritty, building anticipation for the next film, Public Enemy No. 1, which follows the story a decade on. Public Enemies or Merin. Both films are currently showing at cinemas around the country this summer, and both are worth a watch. Let the audience judge him. But the Film 24 verdict is in, and for us, the winner is Merin.